In today's video, we're going to build the easiest kelp XP farm for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This farm produces hundreds of kelp every minute, so make sure you stick in there till the end. Now the first and most important step of this entire farm is making sure that you build it inside of one chunk. If you build it on a chunk border, this farm is going to break. To do that, you can see in the top left, I have my show coordinates on. So I'm at about negative 150 and negative 665. So go to the second link in the description or search up chunk base. Put those coordinates down here. So negative 150, negative 665 and hit enter. And you can see I'm inside of one of these chunks. If you find yourself on the edge, move until you're in the middle. Otherwise this farm will not work. Now loading back into Minecraft, we can get started with the farm. So start off by placing, uh, actually I'm gonna go back to where I am in the middle of the chunk. Place four blocks like that break that one in the middle place a redstone repeater with the two prongs facing away from you piece of redstone dust there a redstone torch on that block and then a lever right there and this is going to create this ticking motion and then you can just flick this off for now you now want to place five blocks right here come over here and place five blocks like that place three blocks there three blocks there and then three sticky pistons just like that now come around to the back of the farm and place three blocks there with three pieces of redstone dust on those blocks and then two pieces down there so the pistons extend and when you flick this lever you should see that this starts to happen but again we can just turn this off you now want to take three pieces of sand and place it in front and then three pieces of sand and place it on top of the pistons like that and then take your solid blocks and surround this top sand with your solid block just like that now that you've got this come to the front and place three blocks there you then want to go three blocks up three blocks up and then build a row of blocks on the bottom and the top so you have three holes in the middle now place six blocks over here six blocks over here place three slabs on those top back blocks and then three trap doors on those slabs now take your three non-sticky pistons and place them inside of there like that you can now take your solid blocks again and extend these out one more and then place three blocks across so you have an area looking like this we're now going to make the xp and chest collection system for the farm so start by placing six chests off of these three blocks and then you can go ahead and break those three blocks come inside of here and place down three hoppers leading into them now right underneath of these chests you want to dig out the six blocks underneath them so like this and then looking away from the farm break two more blocks like that you then want to take two chests two chests and two chests like that and then take your six hoppers and lead them all into the chests so these two lead into this one these two lead into that and these two lead into those ones you can now take your smokers or regular furnaces but smokers will be more efficient place them on top of the hoppers like that with six more hoppers leading into these smokers you are going to have to shift while doing it like that and now the final thing you want to do i'm actually going to turn all of these just because it looks nicer you don't have to though <laughs> is you want to again shift or crouch whatever you want to call it and place six levers on all of the smokers here and this is how we turn the farm on and off to actually collect the xp now that we're finished with this part you want to place six glass panes in this area open up these trap doors and then place three signs on the top glass pane doesn't matter if there's text on it just like that you can then close these three trap doors and place three buckets of water inside of these signs like that and once you have that water flowing, go ahead and open up these trap doors again and place three pieces of kelp on top of that sand. So the area looks like this. Now that we're done with this part, we have to finish up the redstone around the back. Now the redstone back here is very specific, so make sure you watch the video very carefully, otherwise the farm might not work. So start by placing one redstone torch on the side of this block here, with a block on top of that redstone torch, and then do that same thing again, like that. Now place a redstone torch there, place a block, place a redstone torch, now place one block there, three blocks down there, and then place four pieces of redstone dust on top of it. Now that the entire farm is complete, I'm going to show you how to use it. It's very simple. All you have to do is click this lever. As you're going to see, the kelp is duplicated. It goes into this chest, into the hopper, into the smoker, and then once it's finished smoking, it's put inside of this chest. Now what you're actually going to notice at first is they're not going to smoke because you have no fuel. But once you do get some dried kelp inside of here, what you can do is just take some dried kelp blocks or dried kelp, whatever you want. Put it inside of there and use the kelp that you get as the fuel to smelt the kelp. 
Now to collect the XP, all you have to do is flick the lever off so they stop going into the chest and collect the piece of dried kelp that's inside of there. If your farm isn't working, two things. One, again, make sure that you're inside of a chunk, not on the chunk border. And two, if I go ahead and turn this farm off for a second, you can see there's three pieces of sand here and there's no sand underneath of here. That is exactly how it should be. Oh yeah, and one more thing I forgot to mention, make sure the farm isn't running when you leave the area. If you're going to leave, go to a different area or go through another portal, make sure you turn off the farm. That's going to be all for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As well, you could download this world. It's the first link in the description, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Blaze Dempsey out.